So the girls are getting their first introduction to water testing. They are testing for nitrates, pH, dissolved oxygen, turbidity, and temperature. Um, a lot of them have never really messed with chemicals on their own before, especially some stuff like sulfuric acid and um, hydrochloric acid. So it's kind of thrilling, <laughs> I think, for them to be touching and using uh, acids like that to figure out uh, data from the pond that happens here right behind them. So um, they're figuring out why dissolved oxygen is good, why too much is bad. They're really this is their first foray into science. It's their way of learning. They can, they know when they mess up, um, and they know how to fix it. They have to figure out how to fix it. So it's a problem-solving method that um, they don't always get. A lot of times they'll say, uh, "What would happen if you mess up?" Or dissolved oxygen is this, but there's figuring out why or how they figured out the dissolved oxygen was such reading, and um, it's important for them to be able to problem-solve when they get something wrong. There's so much more freedom here to do the hands-on. Um, I'm a math teacher and I teach uh, a subject that is now governed specifically by a test. Um, my success rate, my student's success rate is all testing. I don't, and I, because of that I don't have the time to teach everything that I need to teach and let my kids learn for themselves. I'm, I feel sometimes like Sage on stage, just kind of telling them how it is when here they figure out and they can tell me how it is. I, I learned so much from these girls and um, there are more opportunities for that here.